Hello everyone, welcome to this 3D game programming video series for Wave Engines 2.0. Uh, this video will give you a quick overview about our new Wave Visual Editor and the basic guidelines for the UI with all the areas and panels of our new editor and the project creation of course. Uh, first of all, let's start the editor. Uh, let's take a look at the starter page or welcome page. In this new panel, you can look at these functions. Also, uh, a news feed where you will see our, our news for, for our blogs or articles. Really interesting. And our getting started video to start programming if you are missing this video. And all these new links. And uh, now we will create a new project. But first of all, I will show you what we're going to create. We will create this demo. Uh, this demo is an endless run. Control a spaceship, try to avoid some asteroids. Now it's quite easy, but uh, the GB is accelerating, so at the end it's really hard. And this demo will cover several uh, different areas for 3D game programming, asset creation, man and management, uh, stain creation, coding programming, and a lot of stuff. So okay. so, okay, let's create our new project. In this new project dialog, we can set all the parameters for the new project. Uh, we we'll, we can set the name, uh, for example, space demo. Uh, set the location uh, here, for example. All right. Uh, in the version, we will see all different and previous versions of Web Engine. Here we can see the, all the beta and alpha version for the last month, but we will check the 2007. Uh, in the platform section, we can check all the different platforms that we want our games to deploy, uh, but let's check only Windows for now. We can configure them later in the option sec section. So, okay. Once we create a new project, uh, it start creating, downloading Wave Engine as a Nugget package and compile them and build the project. So, okay, we have our new project recently created. First of all, we have the menu. We'll, if we click on File, we will see the new project, open project, save, uh, open C Sharp solution. This will open. Uh, Visual Studio or Xamarin Studio, depending on what's your default program. You can simulate and build and run uh, and click. Oh, in the same project, we can see all the previous projects. And edit menu is really similar to other programs, but we have here we have the preference where we can check and change uh, critical options. Uh, create we can in this menu we can create different entities uh, we will cover them later in the next video and in the asset menu we can the same but with assets we have fonts uh, cube map sprite sheets fold, split folders and here we can show the different panels if we close them in this panel we can check for updates look the about web visual editor with the web engine teams and special thanks for our beta testers. Uh, we can also uh, check for updates. Now our engine is up to date. And um, uh, show us a feedback. In this bar, you will see all the main options of our visual editor. Uh, for example, the move, rotate, scale buttons, uh, work on, on local transformations, the snap. Options, 3D and 2D switch button, camera options, and orthogonal and perspective switch uh, with different 
Ostian for the camera. Solid and wireframe. And enable show or hide the gray. Uh, show or remove different layers. And simulate. Now we have nothing. <laughs> and build the project. Okay. And this panel of the left, we showed you all the different assets of our project. For now we have nothing, we have only one thing. We can create more thing and switch among them. And we can drag some assets from to here and we, we can see them. Okay. In this right side we see all the entity properties and hierarchy for the project. For example we have the main thing. Uh, we have one 3D camera, a one 2D camera, and a default light, directional light. And if we select one entity, we will, in Entity Details panel, we will see all the different components of the Wave Engine object. For example, we have the Transform 3D, directional light properties. We, here we can set the color of the light, for example, and uh, the directional light renderer. Here, for example, we can add new behaviors, and here we can create new entities. For example, let's create a sphere primitive. Sphere. We can place it in the zero point. For example, this is the scale of the entity. If we change it, we will modify the size of the sphere for example let's say a two let's double its side uh, here we can change the name for example we can say main primitive set attack switch bit if we want it to be visible or invisible, uh, active or inactive. Okay. In this lower area, we have the console. Uh, here we can see all the different message of the editor and web engine. We can set different levels. For example, for, for now it's on the back. We can clear the console. And okay. So that's it. This is the basic navigation of our UI and in the next video we will start creating and dragging more assets and explain how can you start creating your project and your game. Thank you for watching and stay tuned and we will release new videos in the next days. Thank you very much.